Okay guys, uh, this is a, another uh, maquette video for you to have a quick look at. Um, what I'm doing, I'm just going to do some quick patterns and designs on the mask, which I've already painted as you can see. Uh, I'll just quickly show you the brushes you should be using. These are thin watercolour paint brushes. Do not use these big long ones which we're using for glue. They are not uh, painting brushes uh, for watercolour and poster paints. Use the thinner, finer brushes. These are much better quality, okay? Right, so very, very quickly, I need to be quick. Um, I'm using a little bit of water. You can see this here, a little bit of water. Uh, not much, I haven't filled it right to the top, okay? So a little bit of water in the bottom, that's all you need. A tiny bit of water on your brush, okay? So I'm not overloading with water there. And I'm just taking a little bit of paint at the time. Um, a little bit of paint off my palette here at the time. And I'm just going to go over the surface again that I've already painted. This is the stage you're at. And I'm just putting some wet paint back in there. And what you'll get is, because you've done your first coat, the paint goes on a lot better because you've already covered the cardboard and you get some much brighter colours now, which is fantastic. That's what we're looking for. Some lovely bright colours on your designs. Okay, and you can see with the light hitting that there, that that paint is sort of reflecting the light and it's going on lovely and dark now, okay? Which just looks fantastic. So that's good. So I'm just going to paint that in. I'm not going to do the whole thing because I'm going to, as I say, I've got a lot of time. I want to get started on your own designs. But what I'd like you to do is... I'm getting a little bit of yellow now. Not, don't have the brush too. I've just washed the brush out. Don't have it too wet. Just a little bit of damp on the brush, and I'm getting some yellow now. You can see that on the tip of the brush. I'm just going to introduce a little bit of yellow into this, and because I'm using wet on wet now, these colours should start blending quite nicely. So I'm, again, I'm using the tip of the brush. I'm just putting the yellow where I want to go. You can see that it looks a bit claggy and a bit messy at the minute, but you should start to see quite soon if I can get this to work. I hope I can. And you should start to see some blending in a minute. Again, I'm just going to clean that off. And I'm just going to tip my brush and just blend in, soften these edges just by skimming the surface. Just soften the edges up a little bit and blending some of that yellow into the red. And as you all know, two primary colours together, mixed together, give you a secondary colour. In this case, as you can see, it's starting to make a nice orange. Okay, now I want you to demonstrate this to me today if you can. Again, I'm using the tip of the brush. Okay, and I'd like to see some secondary colours being blended here today. Okay, if you want to stick with primary, red, blue and yellow, that's okay. You can blend those together as well. But I would like to see some blending demonstrated. I don't know if you can see that. I'm just sort of starting to blend it in a little bit more. Make it a little bit more red. Back, get some red back. Just go back to the edge then, put some red back over again. And as, as the two paints are wet, they blend quite well. But you must, again, sorry to keep going on about it, but the tip of the brush is very important. Don't overload your brush like this. I don't want to see brushes like that, all clattered and clagged up. I want to see a nice tip on your brush. Okay, be refined, be careful, be highly skilled, please. That's what we're looking at, a gentle touch today. Okay, and also another thing you can add, I don't know if you can see this one I've just got up here. This is one I did earlier. A while ago now, but I've got some little dots and patterns on there. I don't know if you can see that. And that sort of helps just to sort of pull all your designs together a little bit. So what I'm going to do here, just as an example, I'm just going to get a little bit of blue paint. Again, I'm rotating the brush slightly on the paint. I'm rotating the brush. Like that, so we have a nice tip on it. And I'm just going to put some little patterns, dotted patterns, around the edge of my design. You have to look very closely. It's hard to see on the camera. You just start to see them there now. I may just get a little bit more water. Get a bit more blue there. And again I'm rotating my brush in the paint. Rotate the brush. Just add the dots in there. Okay. I'd like you to apply some of that onto your design as well today. Okay and keep working on obviously the eyes need some work as well. But we'll work on that as we go through the lesson. Okay. So have a go yourself. Good luck. 